The beginning of October begins the unofficial start to the cold and flu season. We learn how to decrease our risk in our McLaren Medical Minute. Hi, I'm Ray Radoni. I'm the medical director of the emergency department at McLaren Flint, and we're here today to talk about flu season. As you know, flu season's right around the corner, and that this is the time of year where a quarter million people will be infected with the flu. Unfortunately, one in five of those quarter million will actually pass away, and the older folks and our children are the most vulnerable. The flu is a virus, and it comes every year about this time, and it's associated with fever, headache, cough, sore throat, and for those of you who have had it, it's a very uncomfortable four to five days. There are some medications that can be used by your physicians along with Tylenol or Advil and fluids to decrease your symptoms and the time that you have the flu, but clearly the best way of minimizing your risk of getting the flu. About three or four seconds worth of a little needle, and what do you have? You have decreased your risk of getting the flu, decreased your risk of missing work, decreased your risk of passing it on to your children or your work members or your family. Some other simple ways of decreasing the risk of transmitting the flu, if you've got a cough, cough into your sleeve. Do a lot of hand washing and try to minimize the times that you touch other people, especially children around the face or around the nose because the virus is spread by contact, by touch, and by sneezing and coughing. The safest method of decreasing your incidence of getting the flu is to simply get a flu vaccine. It's an affordable, safe way to decrease your incidence of getting the flu and enjoying the fall and enjoying the holidays without being home, stuck in bed, not feeling well. For more information, you'll find a link to mclaren.org on our website. It's abc12.com.